what exactly the prerequisites is all about what is the different types of data structure so in the part a you will have 10 questions i need to sort it in the ascending order how do i do it Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to my first session on an interesting topic. Yes, you will be thinking what is that I'm going to discuss in this first session, right? So guys, I heartily welcome the second semester BCA student to one of the important subject that you will have in the entire BCA. Most of the people think that data structure and the file processing is one of the toughest subject in the entire BCA. But I will promise all of you, if you follow my classes regularly, so you will feel this subject is going to be very interesting and very simple. So let's not waste much of your time. So let me check what is that I have in today's session for all of you. So guys, in this session, I will be discussing four different parts along with that two important parts. So why? What is that you are going to discuss? Yes, the first thing which I'm going to discuss is all about the prerequisites. So guys, when it comes to the concept of prerequisites, what exactly that prerequisites is all about, sir? So before I start the subject called data structure and file processing, so what should I know? So that is what I will call it as a prerequisites. I will be discussing that. So most of you will be knowing, sir, I don't know anything. Will I be able to study this subject completely? Without any problem, yes, I will be answering that question. So after that, I will be discussing the learning outcome, the most important part. What exactly you will be calling it as a learning outcome? So once I'm done with this subject, so what should I have? What I will be having? So that is what I will, I will be calling it as a learning outcome. So fine, moving forward to the third one. So guys, I have mentioned it as units. What exactly units are? In this subject, how many units that you will have? So individually, I will be discussing each unit. What is that you are going to study in that particular unit? So guys, that is what I will call it as a units. So the fourth one, what I have is all about your internals. Guys, you will have... Uh, how many internals? So let me answer that when I speak about the internals. You will have a question, right? So do we have uh, how many two internals or three internals? You will have a lot of questions with respect to that. Yes, please have a little patience. I will be discussing and answering that when I come to the part of internals. The next one, I will be discussing a very, very important part. That's going to be the question paper pattern. So how exactly the question paper will be there in this subject is what I will be discussing. And the last one, so it, it, no, it is very, very important with respect to this subject. That's going to be the lab. Do I have the lab? If I have the lab, how I will have the lab? So what kind of programs I will get? So all those things I will be discussing in the last part. All right. So without wasting much of your time, let me get into the session. So guys, prerequisites. So what is that I have? Oh. A beautiful decoration. Uh, what kind of this uh, leaves, sir? All of you will be wondering, right? Yes, it's not leaves, guys. It's zero. Okay. So I would like to tell each one of you, those who are watching my session. So if you ask me what I should know before I start the subject, you don't have to know anything. You don't have to have anything in your brain. So take it from me, even if you don't have anything in your mind or in your brain with respect to the subject, it is my duty that I will make sure that each one of you will learn the subject in depth. My dear students, I will be discussing the subject from the scratch with the minimum basics knowledge. So you don't have to worry about that. So that is the first thing that I would like to clarify with all of you. So moving forward, the next one, data structure, learning outcome. Sir, if I study this subject, what is that I will have with me? So hope all of you are able to see this. What is this? Uh, we are feeling like, you know, it's a Chinese language, not able to understand anything. So please take a screenshot of it. So once I'm done with this subject, if you just look at this slide, you will understand 
everything, whatever I have mentioned it here. You will find it very simple. Yes, oh, this is what you have shown, no sir, in the beginning. I know this. I will make you feel everything, whatever I have mentioned it here. So it is simple and easy. So that is what I will call it as a learning outcome. Many things with respect to the management of the data. How do I organize the data? How do I search the data? How do I sort the data? How do I mainly deal with the data? So is what you will know once we are done with the subject. So guys, moving forward to the next one. So a most important thing. So I did not discuss much when it comes to the learning outcome. But now let me discuss that along with the units what you have. So first of all, you have got four units in this subject. So in the first unit, so you have got the first thing as a basic data structure. Sir, what is basic data structure? What I will be learning in that? So listen to me carefully. Guys, you will be learning what exactly the data is all about. What exactly the data structure is all about. What exactly the different data types and the different data structures that I have. And what are the different operations that I can perform on the data structure? So all these things you will be learning in the basic data structure. I repeat, what is the different types of data structure? What are the operations that I can do on the data structure? Is what you will be mainly focusing on the basic data structure. Along with that, you will also discuss or you will also learn what is array. That is one of the data structure that we have. How exactly we perform the operations with stack. What is stack? And you will also learn what is queues and what is linked list. So guys, you might be feeling, sir, we are feeling like it's a Chinese language, not able to understand anything. Yes. Let me just give you a simple idea to remember all these things and to understand all these things. The first thing, let me start with the arrays. What is that I have arrays? Say for example, I need to store one element, right? So I have to store this 10. So 10 is a value which I will be storing in the variable A. So fine, I have to store more than one element. How do I store in one single variable? So to solve this problem, I have the concept called arrays, which you have already studied, right? So this is what I will call it as a arrays, all right? So fine, I will be storing my elements here. So why, why are you writing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50? So you can write anything. So this is the data that I have assumed. So this is an example of arrays. So fine, so hope you understood what is the meaning of array. So what is stack then? It's a very simple example. Guys, you just have to imagine the CD stand. So I have a, a CD stand, okay? So this is the CDs that I have, okay? So what happens here? Insertion will happen at the same end and also deletion will also happen at the same end. This example is what we related to the stack. This is what we call it as a stack. I will be discussing in detail about this stack applications. Don't have to worry. You just have to remember with this example. Whenever I say stack, you have to remember CD scan example. Same way I have Q. What is this Q? So we all uh, stand in front of the movie theater for our tickets, right, in a queue. So same example, you just have to remember with respect to the queue. So same concept we are trying to implement even here with respect to the queue. So the next one that I have is linked list. Whenever I say linked list, you just have to remember the trine. You just have to remember the trine. This is what you just have to remember. Rest everything in detail I will be discussing. So in the coming sessions. What is that you will remember? So guys, whenever I say stack applications, you just have to remember the CD stack. Whenever I say queue, you just have to remember the queue, which is in the movie ticket counter. And the last one that I have in the first unit, that's going to be the linked list. Whenever I say linked list, you just have to remember the trine example. So you just remember this rest, you leave it to me, I will explain in detail and I'm discussing this topic. So this is the overview of the first unit. This is what you will be learning. So what is the first one? Basic data structure. So in that, so you will be learning 
what exactly data structure is all about and the types of data structure and what are the operations that I can perform on the data structure. The second one, I have array. That is one of the basic data structure that we have. Along with that, we also have stack, queues, and the linked list. So this is the overview that you have with respect to the unit one. Moving forward to the unit two. So guys, when it comes to the unit two, so we have something called trees. So nowadays, we have uh, 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 very, very less trees around us, right? Because we often uh, keep cutting the trees. So please do plans, you know, around your house. So guys, by saying this, let me get into this concept. So is that tree that you are speaking? No, this is entirely different concept. Guys, before I discuss, before I give you some overview about tree, so let me just explain one thing. So guys, Array, you all know, right? So this is one of the linear data structure. Linear data structure, okay? So what is this linear data structure? So guys, I will be storing my data in this fashion. Okay, so that's why I will be calling it as a linear data structure. Especially when it comes to the linear data structure, I will have to access the elements one by one or I will also call it as a sequentially. Suppose if I want to access this 40, I have to access this 10, 20, 30, only then I will be able to access 40. This is quite time consuming. This is taking a lot of time because I have to visit all these elements. So then how do I solve this problem? So to solve this problem, I have come across with one more concept called trees. So which is more quicker, more faster than this concept. So what is that then? So how exactly it looks? So guys, this looks like this. We will be storing the data in a hierarchical fashion. So it helps us to access the elements or access the data very quickly when we compare to the linear data structure. So that is what you need to understand. So this is what I will be calling it as a trees. So I will be discussing in detail with respect to a lot of topics with respect to the trees is what you need to understand. Along with that, I will also discuss some of the different types of trees and the sets in the second unit. So moving forward to the third unit that I have. So guys, a very interesting topic. In fact, probably those who have uh, chosen the computer science as a, an optional subject in the second PUC. And if you have studied properly in the C programming, probably you would have come across with this word searching and sorting. If you don't remember, I am there for you. So guys, searching in the sense what? Searching in the sense, imagine I have the linear data structure, imagine I have an array, or it can be you now trees, it can be anything, okay? I have to search for a particular item. So imagine this is my data elements that I have. I need to search for 50, okay? So what I will be doing is, I, I will start comparing this 50, with this 10. So is it matching? No. So I will compare this with this. Is it matching? No. Is it matching? No. Is it matching? No. Is it matching? Yes. I got the element. I got the element which I was searching. So this process is what I will be calling it as a searching. Yes, you all understood what is searching. That is not the topic now. I will be discussing the different types of searching that we have. So guys, along with that, I will also discuss one of the most important topic that you should never forget in data structure, that is sorting. What exactly sorting is all about? Guys, ordering the data element in the ascending order or in the descending order is what I will be calling it as a sorting. I repeat the definition for all of you. Arranging the data elements in the ascending order or in the descending order is what I will be calling it as a sorting. So guys, what is that? So imagine I have the data elements like this. Okay, so I have 10, 50, 40, 20, 30. So my data is not sorted here. I need to sort it in the ascending order. How do I do it? So guys, so after performing the ascending, after performing the sorting in the ascending order, my data will look like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How do I do this? So that is what I will be discussing with respect to the sorting. Along with the sorting, I will also discuss the different types of sorting with all of you. All right, so the next one is memory management. 
Oh, it's a very, very important topic. How do I manage my space is what I will be discussing with all of you. And this is the overview of third unit. Moving forward to the last unit, physical devices. So how exactly I will be managing my devices and also how exactly I will be managing my files and how do I perform the file operations is what I will be discussing in this unit is what I will uh, you know, say to all of you. Mainly, you will be discussing about the input output operations with respect to the device, physical device, storage device. Along with that, you all know we need files. Why do we need files? To store the data. So if I want to store the data, so that is not enough for me because I will be performing a lot of operations with the file, opening the file, creating the file, deleting the file. So a lot of operations which I will be performing, right? So I will also discuss the detailed information with respect to the file organization. So this is what you will be learning in this subject. I would like to sum up by saying unit one, two, three, and four is the learning outcome for all of you in the subject. So fine, moving forward to the next one, I think all of you know, uh, it say, you know, stays uh, standard. So as we were uh, conducting the three internals, each internal carries 20 marks. So each internal will be allotted for 20 marks. So you will have to take it up seriously and you have to do it. All right, so I think uh, you know all about uh, the internals, what we do and how we do it. So moving forward to the question paper pattern. So guys, uh, listen to me carefully. If you ask me, sir, is there any difference like, you know, what we had? So uh, are we following the same pattern? Of course, we are following the same pattern. So you will have two parts. One is part A, another one is part B. All right. So in the part A, you will have 10 questions. Each question carries two marks. All right. So when it comes to the part B, it's very important. So listen to me carefully. You will have four questions. How many questions you will have? four questions each question carries 15 marks so then uh, do i get only one question for 15 mark no so you will have two questions again so which comes for eight plus seven sir then i will have two questions so each question is for eight and seven combination is it no it can be like this say for example i have the seven so the question paper setter can split this 7 as 5 plus 2 or 3 plus 4. It can get split. So that's what you need to keep it in your mind. So this is the pattern that you can expect in your question paper. Moving forward, do I have lab for this subject? Yes, of course, you have the lab for the subject and you will have the programs, so which I will be sharing with all of you. And it's very important that you need to learn theory as well as practical hand in hand. Only then you will be able to understand the subject very clearly. So guys, I think uh, this is the overview that I would like to give all of you in the first session. All right, so by saying this, let me end my session. So guys, all the very best. Let's start the subject. So keep following me. So if you have liked uh, this video, so you don't have to like it again. Uh, if you have not done it, so don't forget to like it and share with all the students, those who are in the second semester. By saying this, thank you. Bye-bye.